the Waifatu stream flows along the foot of the eastern hills of Lower Hutt. Flowing through an urban jungle, the stream meets the Hutt River before flowing out into Wellington Harbour. Historically, the Waifatu stream has been impacted both by the surrounding industry as well as necessary modifications to the stream's natural path to minimise the risk of flooding to surrounding homes, businesses and infrastructure. But the stream is not without its supporters, with the Friends of the Waifatu Community Group making a stand for the restoration and contributing to the ongoing efforts to improve its quality. People really value the, the corridor and the open green little Avon appearance of the stream. The Friends of Waiwatu Stream uh, emerged out of the widening and deepening and removal of contaminated sediments downstream. And when that was completed in 2010, the councils wanted a community group to continue to do work further upstream. And that was in 2011 that our group formed. We've had fantastic support from both uh, regional and city council. Anything that we've required in the way of equipment, they've provided. Hutt City Council have supplied 14,000 plants so far for our plantings and we have regular meetings with them so that any issues that arise um, regarding maintenance can be sorted out. The benefits of the communities and the councils working together is huge. The councils can do the big jobs but we need the local community to take ownership of these areas because we don't necessarily have the funds to do the sort of work that the community can do. The stream has been contaminated for many, many years and has had the dubious reputation for being the most contaminated stream in New Zealand. It was just ghastly. The difference now is absolutely amazing. So the monitoring that we do on the Waifatu stream provides a, a useful baseline for groups such as the Friends of the Waifatu stream to help them understand what they can do to improve the health of the stream. And one of the key things is improving habitat quality for native fish, in particular through planting along the sides of the stream. One important thing is just being really aware of where things that you put into the stormwater go to. So often people doing some painting around the house or washing the car will put that into the stormwater drain not realising that in fact it's running straight into their nearest stream or into the sea if they're living near the sea. Basically, if you don't want to swim in something yourself, you shouldn't put it down, down the stormwater drain. People being aware of that can, can really make a difference. We hope that the water quality in the stream will improve to the extent that it will be safe for children to splash around and play. The local community is quite engaged now, particularly as the stream's looking so nice. There's been such huge progress so far, and I can't see any reason why it wouldn't continue to work. Once the banks are planted, streams cleaned up, it'll just be a case of more of the same.